SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we want to talk about Verizon as a broadband company. They do Fios, which is wireline and fiber. They do fixed wireless access, the 5G home internet and 5G business internet. And I want to talk about trends. I want to start looking at their total customer count and what this means in terms of impact in the industry. So let's do that here in today's video. A link for the article that inspired this video will be provided. I'll put that in the description box down below. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, so for the Q1 2024, Verizon, when it comes to their broadband, did pretty good. 354,000 fixed wireless access customers were added for the quarter. All right, so what we could do here is we can zoom in on the quarter numbers and you'll see the breakdown. Uh, commercial is your business fixed wireless access. Residential fixed wireless access just below that in the darker blue. Okay, so th the numbers look fine. Uh, what I want to kind of take a look at is year over year looking at the last, you know, Q1, which would be Q1 2023, which is right here. All right, so they added 393,000 total fixed wireless access subs. 137 were the business type, 256 the consumer type, the residential type. So they're up in the business, slightly down in the consumer or the residential. Why is that? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe it's competitive pressures. AT&T now sells the same product. Maybe, you know, T-Mobile's doing their thing at the same time. AT&T is adding some. Uh, we know that Big Cable hasn't been adding customers. Maybe the appetite for the Verizon brand at home internet just didn't resonate with the consumer market as much in that quarter. Maybe that's what it is, or maybe this is a new trend. Maybe this is the best Q1 we're going to see from Verizon moving forward. Maybe it's going to be a little bit lesser on the next Q1. We shall see. But if I look at the previous numbers, going back to Q1 of 2022, that's when they launched C-Band, right? So they added 82,000 on the commercial and 112,000 on the residential. So that we're not going to really compare that because they didn't have much C-Band out, right? Um, and then the numbers accelerated from there and then it looks like things peaked Q1 of 2023. But they're holding steady through all of 2023. Look at the consumer. It's all over 250,000, right? And it's all over... You know, uh, a total of, of you know, like 380, 375,000, uh, and then the breakdown, right? But So, like, I'm not really concerned thinking that they're really slowing down. I'm, I'm really not. Although it does seem like you look at the trajectory, you just look at the peaks. They're just a little bit lower the last couple of quarters. We'll learn more in the coming quarters, of course. I think it's telling that we're, I mean, here's your trajectory for your total consumer number. Verizon wants to be somewhere between 4 and 5 million customers on the service. They're at 3.4 million today. Right? And that, that number might be closer to 3.5 million. You know what I mean? So, that being said, you got over 2 million on the residential. You've got over 1.3 million on the business. Maybe this year is the last big growth year for Verizon. And then after that, it's going to be kind of slow growth. And actually, I think the business will be the one that continues to grow a little bit more than the residential. I don't know. Uh, now that, you know, AT&T is in play, T-Mobile is in play, and Verizon, they're all, you know, trying to get their customers. Obviously, cable has been losing subscribers and wireline, so it ain't them. What do you guys think explains this? Is it just a maturing market? Anybody who wanted fixed wireless already has it. You think it's going to be a slow growth thing? See, to me, slow growth is going to be when they're no longer adding 100,000 subscribers. If they're able to add 100,000 business and 100,000 residential, I still think that's good growth. I think they can do that through 2025, no doubt. I think the, the that's when they get to the quote-unquote slowdown, when you're barely cracking 200,000 combined business and consumer. Anyways, you guys quantify for me. What is a slowdown for Verizon and fixed wireless access? 
what would you define as a slowdown? Is it this? Do you have to see it slow down more substantially? When do you think they slow down? You guys heard my comments. Now give me yours. Comment in the comment section. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.